In your AI agent, we have a social listening tool where you can engage with your customers at the speed of social. How it works is your AI agent searches the web for your intended keyword. And then if it finds a post of that keyword on either Blue Sky, Twitter, or Reddit, it reads that post, responds to it, and automatically inserts itself into the conversation. But there's a fundamental issue. Let's say my business was an online course teaching Python, the programming language. What would happen if I set up an AI agent to target the keyword Python on Twitter and it came across this post? To quote Monty Python, you don't vote for kings. Well, the AI agent would see Python and it would respond to this post. But this has nothing to do with the Python programming language. So my post would be wasted, it would count towards my API rate limits, and it would target a customer that would never buy my product. And if someone was looking at my reply to this post, they would think it'd be pretty silly, which means we need an extra filter. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do something I like to call context matching. Let's get right into it. All right, first things first, you're gonna head on over to youraiagent.com because we're going to create an AI agent that listens to social media based on your keyword. This is a web app that I'm building live on this channel, and our plan is to automate every task for an online business. So on the connections page, after signing up, you're gonna to wanna to connect either your Blue Sky account, a Twitter version two account, or your Reddit profile. If there is an integration that you do not see on this page that you would like to social listen to, please write it in the comments below and I will integrate it as soon as possible. But in this video, we're gonna do Blue Sky. So after clicking on the tab, we need to name our integration. I'm gonna call it my Blue Sky account. And then we need your username and password. Your username and password is what you use to sign into Blue Sky. When you go to this URL, bsky.app, my username is heywestfrank.bsky.social. Your username will likely look like this as well. And then I'll enter my password here manually and then click connect. If everything is good, you're gonna get a notification. It says your Blue Sky social account has been connected. I can click okay. And then you'll see it at the bottom of your connections page like so. Next, I'm gonna click home and we're gonna scroll down to the social listening tool and click start now. Stay ahead of the conversation with social listening. This agent monitors Reddit, Twitter, and Blue Sky for mentions of your chosen keyword, brand name, or hashtag. When it finds a match, it instantly replies to the post using your customized agent prompt or AI preferences. It's perfect for managing your brand's presence, engaging with your audience, and jumping into relevant discussions effortlessly. So first you wanna choose your connection, and this is gonna be either a Blue Sky connection, Reddit connection, or Twitter connection. Next is your reply settings. So how often do you wanna to reply to new posts? The recommended interval is once every four to six hours. So let's do every four hours. And next is the listening keyword. So this is one keyword, brand name, or hashtag that you want the agent to monitor for mentions. And like in the example at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna write Python, but now we have an option to provide listening context. So I'm gonna to toggle this on, and in this section it says, describe the exact context or meaning of your listening keyword. We want you to specify what's relevant or irrelevant. And here is an example. So only respond to references about Python as a programming language. So for example, libraries, code, or snippets, and ignore anything about snakes or reptiles. Or I could even write, or Monty Python as I saw in a previous example on Twitter. So what is going on with this listening context option? And this is for all of you developers, for all of you that like to get inside the weeds. So we have a social listening context layer, an extra layer that goes after the post is received. And it basically works like this. So the system prompt that we're sending through and we're using structured outputs in the OpenAI API, we're saying that you are a content filtering assistant and your task is to look at two pieces of text. So a context prompt, and that is something that you provide as the user. And then the social media post, 
you need to decide if the post matches the context prompt well enough that the user should respond to it. And we want the agent to only output the word true if the post is relevant to the context prompt or false if it is not. And with structured outputs, we get this exact word. We get a true or false answer and we don't get anything else. So we provided the context prompt and the social media post. We get a true or false. If the output is true, we continue on with the workflow. And if the output is false, that means it doesn't match your context prompt. Then we kill the workflow right there and your AI agent doesn't respond. The next part is your agent prompt. So these are top level instructions describing what the agent is supposed to do and how it should generally behave and respond. You get a max of 5,000 characters, so you can provide some examples in your prompt. Maybe you want the AI agent to respond a certain way, talk in a certain style, use specific information from your business. You can provide all of that information in the agent prompt. And the dynamic data that we're including is the social media post. So for example, here's a default prompt. You are an AI agent designed to monitor social media mentions and craft relevant, engaging replies. So based on the provided post text, just generate a thoughtful response that aligns with the tone and context of the post. So again, we get the post for your listening keyword. In this example, it is Python. We send that post through a context layer. Should we respond to it? Should we not? It doesn't have to just be for words that have separate meanings. Like Python is a good example because it's a programming language. It's also a snake. But you could also do something like sentiment analysis. If it's a positive response or if it's a positive post, I want you as the AI agent to respond. If it's a negative post, I want you to ignore it. If you can think of other cool use cases for this context layer, I'd also love to hear it. Please write in the comments below. But anyways, I can now click start agent. It takes me to the actives workflow page where I can see all of my running workflows and AI agents. This is a test account where I'm testing all the agents. But anyways, if I click on the info button, you can see the latest post, the reply from your AI agent. If it matched the context, when the next check is going to be, if there are any error logs, and then you can also edit this agent at any time and change any of your settings. But let's look at this context layer. So the last post was from PyCon.us and it said the PyCon US and at the PSF team want everyone to prioritize their safety and we understand that due to the current situation, many of you will not be able to join us. I wonder what's going on here, I don't know. We will miss you and we hope that you can connect with the Python community somewhere else in the world this year. The match context was true and if I go to PyCon.org, it is definitely about the Python language. So the AI agent said, yes, we can respond to this. And it replied, it's thoughtful to prioritize safety. And I appreciate the consideration for everyone's situation. Looking forward to connecting with the community online and hopefully participating in future events as the circumstances improve. If I click on the link, I can see my post on Blue Sky right here. If you want to try the social listening AI agent for yourself, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If when I showed the backend code on how we add the context layer to the AI agent, if that was interesting to you, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.